What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode with your boy Franklin. Right, Harry and Meghan, you know, Markle. The media has been awash with, you know, uh, news about them, you know, departing um, from the, potentially departing from the royal family and migrating to Canada and all that stuff. And, um, you know, the mainstream media have basically vilified, you know, the couple, particularly Meghan and all that. But, as a black person myself, I think it's very important that I comment on this. And I must say from the jump that personally, I'm not interested in, uh, you know, Megan's uh, background uh, prior to, uh, you know, marrying Harry. Just like millions of other people scattered across the globe, I don't know her personally, okay? Of course, we form opinions based on maybe what you've read or what you've heard and all that stuff. I understand she was divorced from a previous relationship. To me, that's totally relevant. Harry met her. Harry knows about her background and stuff and he made a decision to amalgamate his feelings with that woman and, you know, form a life, form a family with her and they've got a lovely child called Archie at the moment. Now, uh, she's American, you know, she's black and all that stuff. But let's bring it back home. Um, the British... Um, uh, mainstream media I've proved time and time again that they are nothing but um, institutionally racist okay this lady has been vilified from the jump and before I carry on if you've been following this story right from you know when Meghan started and came into the public eye and people knew she was dating Harry and then the marriage came and all that stuff She's been vilified from day one. She's been attacked. And, you know, there's been comments like, you know, straight out of Compton. And she, she's not even from Compton. But if, for those of you that are watching that don't have a clue, straight out of Compton is a gangster, you know, hip-hop slash gangster-related movie and all that stuff. There were also nasty comments as if the royal family was going to get shot down. And, and there's a lot of, you know, false uh, misdirection and uh, malicious falsehood from the mainstream media to discredit this woman all because she's black and you see one of the fundamental problems that we face in Britain as you know as black folks I've said this in some of my videos in the past this is gives you an insight into the daily microaggression that the average black person has to deal with you live in a system that is systematically racist right it's not built with black folks in mind it's a system where there's a preconceived you know n terrible notions about you as a black person whereby um people have a have a stereotypically generated perception of you uh, if you express yourself too much if you show discomfort about a particular treatment they are very quick to label you as being aggressive and intimidating and these are the things that male and female that we have to deal with in the british system one of the things that infuriates me personally is when it comes to the issue of racism there was a culture in britain which is deeply rooted in white privilege and i explain white privilege white washes racism white privilege there is nothing you can do even in the face of blatant racism they trivialize um anything about racism they 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 they, they say um you know the views of um um, um the, the views of a racist person for example if a racist person makes a nasty remark towards a black person or a brown person uh, they would say oh it was just uh, it was it was it was it was unintentional it was just a mistake in fact you hear phrases like oh oh you got a chip on your shoulder oh here we go you're pulling out the race card these as, as i was saying earlier these are the daily microaggressions that you have to deal with as a black person so the long and short is they expect you to be subjected to this racist treatment, ill treatment, barrage of, um, you know, you've been treated differently from your white counterpart. What you find is it doesn't matter how professional the black person is, how educated you are, how articulate you are, how smart you are, how tolerant you've presented yourself to the society. The day that you dare to speak up you summon the courage 
to say no to a particular ill treatment or particular nasty you know maybe racist remark or ill treatment that you've been subjected to you know people who have their neck deep in white privilege you know racist white people they're very quick to label you as being aggressive and intimidating i don't care the amount of um you know degrees you have the amount of qualifications you think you have how nice how liberal how how accommodating you think you are the day you dare to speak up and you say no or you put a stop to a particular ill treatment oh you you're called particularly you know are black women if a black woman you know dares to challenge uh, racist treatment at work or in any sort of gathering and stuff like that they call them loud they call them aggressive they call them all sorts of name you can think of now let me go back to Meghan Markle right when 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 Meghan landed you know came on the, the spotlight of the British media they had all sorts of things to say about that woman okay and everything everything is just it goes back to one point it's deeply rooted in racism okay she was criticized even holding our own pregnancy bump how can a woman be pregnant and you had your arms around your belly right in a photograph they criticized her she was putting too much pressure on the baby the long and short is the british society particularly the mainstream media they they are genderous you know they have an issue with her being black so what they desperately really want is they want that relationship smashed to smithereens they want to see a divorce they want the worst to happen that that thing doesn't exist and now some would argue and say oh, but megan knew what she was stepping into blah 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 who am i to sit here what's wrong with falling in love they you know some said oh she used harry there's so much um speculations which i try to distance myself away from and never forget for the most part 99.9 percent .9 of the time what a lot of people are taking in about the stories and everything going on is dished out it's the narrative of the mainstream media it's the narrative of the establishment so if you're watching me and you are heavily reliant on the establishment you're heavily reliant on the mainstream media you've got a long way to go because on a daily basis they churn out news not because they care about you and i not because they genuinely want to educate us and inform us positively right they carve out those deadly narratives to cater to their own stories they carve out those deadly news to misdirect to infiltrate our minds to turn people against themselves okay they are powerful they are well connected they're connected to the justice system they're connected to the police they control the narrative so when you sit in front of the tv and you watch the bbc news you watch the itv you watch the rest of the mainstream media it's basically what they want to sell to you and unfortunately a lot of people soak this up to form opinion a white person would tell you but where is the evidence oh i can't see it the idea of if i can't see it then there is no racism they're very dismissive i'm talking about those who are neck deep in white privilege those who are racist right this is a fundamental problem black people don't have to keep explaining themselves we don't have to i don't have to explain myself to a race a, a white person about a racist treatment that i have suffered I don't have to justify, I don't have to convince you, but sadly, this is a system that we live in. And then it takes me back to what I have said before. You see, black people, we are our own number one enemy. It'd be black folks in the front line actually con condemning Megan, saying all sorts of atrocious things about someone you barely know. Do you understand me? This is what we have to deal with as, as black folks. The, the establishment is unbelievably corrupt. I, I'll say this lastly. A while back, Danny Baker, a top BBC journalist, right? Put a picture on Twitter about the Royal Baby Living Hospital, basically comparing Meghan Markle's baby to a monkey. Think about that, man. That would tear you apart. That will rip into you like a crude knife slit. That will cut into your soul. Imagine me as a father and someone blatantly, 
right? Somebody who has a massive following, a prominent voice, a high profile person. I mean, high profile or not, but a high profile person goes on Twitter, a very volatile platform, right? With a massive following and compares my newly born child to or with a monkey. Anybody with a shred of common sense knows that, you know, uh, it's a common knowledge that black folks are constantly compared with apes and monkeys. These are some of the names that the racist people, you know, throw at us to insult our person to try to break our spirit. So you say that and then then Danny Baker had the audacity to come publicly and say, oh, he didn't know about the royal baby. He was the only person in the entirety of Britain not to know about the royal baby, which is absolute nonsense. But because the BBC was bombarded with all sorts of attacks from the general public and stuff, then they, 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 had, they were forced to sack him. But guess what? When the dust settled, a few months, he was rehired. Imagine you as a black person, if you're watching this, just... Process that for, for a moment. You go on a public profile and you compare a white person's baby to something that has a, you know, that's deeply rooted in racism, a racist comment. And that goes public, right? There's a public uproar. The police will be involved because if you're found guilty, that basically, that will be documented against you as a criminal offense. You'd have a criminal record. So imagine if your employer finds out, you're gonna get a sack. So you, it'll be hard for you to get other jobs. Danny Baker was never prosecuted. So that in itself is even white privilege. Dude came out afterwards making jokes and saying, you know, this and this. I grew up in generation, blah, blah, blah. You hear that a lot. This is what we have to deal with. This is why black folks, we have a long way to go, man. In terms of coming together as a unit of people and building together and fighting prejudice together, man. As long as you got black people, some black people are spineless. In fact, they're the ones that will sell out their brothers and sisters. Um, as soon as the white supremacist drops a few crumbs in your hands, your back is on the ground, you turn your back against your people, you're quick to sell out your own people. These are the people infiltrating the black community, which to me is almost non-existent anyway. This is what you're expected to put up with. They will tell you, oh, it's nothing but criticism. Oh, you're being uppity. Oh, you're being uptight. Oh, go, get the rate, you know. Oh, you're pulling out race. Oh, get you, you got a chip on your shoulder. Oh, calm yourself down, man. Oh, oh, you need to have a sense of humor. Oh, just a bit of a joke. No, it's not. If it's racist, it's just racist. It's your boy, Franklin. What do you think? Let's keep the conversation going on below, man. Damn, but for me, all of this gives you an insight into how the British society is deeply racist. All you have to do is sit on social media, read the tabloids, the headlines, the articles. It's awash with unbelievable, jaw-dropping level of prejudice. And it's, it's just a harsh reality. And again, if you're a black person watching this and, you, and then you say things like, oh, but this is 2020. You know, I can't believe there's still racism. No, you've got a long way to go. You, you're basically blinded internally, right? Racism exists in Britain. Racism hasn't gone anywhere. Unfortunately, racism isn't going away. Racism has only bl been blended with the times. There was a time when they could say, you know, blacks are not allowed, you know, blacks, this, 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 this. You know, times have changed. So now it's being blended. In fact, it's a lot deadlier now. And... It's like even the justice system isn't exactly helpful because, trust me, you, you will go through hell to have to convince and have to prove because they, then they'll say the onus is on you, the, bur the burden of proof is on you because you have, so the, 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 the perpetrators, of, um, perpetrators of, of, of racism, they know. So they blended with the time, they've mastered the craft of how to do it. It's more of a psychological warfare to break you, to destroy you, to tear you to smithereens. And then when you, even if you take them to court, you better have rock solid evidences or they will just walk free. Then they slap the cost on you and destroy you even more. It's your boy, Franklin. Thank you for watching. Let's keep the conversation going on below. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace and love. Bye now.